Up next on ATE TV, the power of wireless electricity. In our world full of mobile devices, the demand for batteries and chargers is increasing. But what if all of those devices could be powered wirelessly? We visited a company that is pushing the boundaries of wireless electricity and may be on the verge of truly changing our world. How you doing? Good, long time. Yeah, How you doing? Yeah, good. So um, I'm going to blow your mind here. Whitricity and highly coupled magnetic resonance is a power independent phenomenon. There's a coil that's plugged in to the back of the computer that picks up a magnetic field from behind the wall. Yeah, there's back a there. coil back there. And here's a 60 watt computer working wow. without a battery. Wow. Here's a cell phone. We've got a coil and electronics going into the battery charging circuit. Okay. And watch what happens when we get him about three feet away from the wall. So you're running this off the same coil right now. The phone exactly. just started up. Electricity is providing the technology to make the last thing in the world go wireless, power. We're safe, unlike lightning, efficient, unlike radio frequencies, and work over distance, unlike magnetic induction. This is a resonator. If it looks like wood and wire mold from Home Depot, that's because it is, actually. And the coil <laughs> is just embedded inside. Yeah. And we took the resonator and put it on the back of the television. No wires. I can't believe there's nothing attached to this TV. And at some point here, the TV should come on. It's a very hands-on organization. We buy two of everything that we'd like to turn into wireless power. We break the first one, meaning we take it apart, and then the second one, we put Whitricity inside of it, so we enable it. We took carpet tiles, and we placed a coil underneath each one of them. So if I turn that pad on, every light in this room just turned on, and wow. the cell phone and the is phone charging. Wow. No electrical wires. Running the whole room. Whitricity's goal is to build a broad-based business in wireless power transfer. We'll get thousands, tens of thousands of people working with the technology developing different applications for it. And that's our goal, is to see it get proliferated as much as possible. There never are enough engineers to work on those things. So if you're a student today, jump on in and study something technical. I've never been in a smart car. And it's a Whitricity smart car, too. So it's a smart car, all electric, with Whitricity. So it's very smart. So it's very smart. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take it for a spin. OK. Oh, there's a lot of room in here. Yeah, it's, it's surprising. Part of the technology is everything's modeled in the computer first. At Whitricity, we have a wide spectrum from people who are just out of school to people that have a lot of experience. And we tend to look for the same qualities, flexibility mentally, the ability to not say no, not say something's impossible. So how do we know we're charging? Once we've pulled over the pad, the system will sense that and we just look to the gauges up there and it shows a positive charge going on. We get to work on some of the most incredibly interesting technology that is one of the biggest breakthroughs in science since Michael Faraday came up with magnetic induction in 1831, 180 years ago. So it's fun to work in something where you can change the world. I can see the resonator under there. All right, so it. you have one on the floor. Yeah. You have one underneath. And that's what's providing the actual charging. So we didn't Imagine that there are devices and things you could do that you haven't even thought of yet. So there are probably wonderful things to come in the future that uh, are just in someone's imagination waiting to pop out. For more information on anything you've seen today, explore our website at atetv.org. Thanks for watching.